welcome back. And in the last video, we created our sign up and our login components and handled some authentication on our front end. And now we kind of want to put that to use by adding a uh, some protected routes. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a is authenticated component, and then we're going to wrap um, whichever routes here that we uh, do not want to uh, have anyone visit unless they're authenticated. So that's kind of the plan for this video. So let's get into it and start uh, coding this up. So let's come over to our components folder here. We're gonna create a new file and we're gonna call that uh, isauthenticated.tsx. Okay, and in here, we're gonna do what we did before and just come in to our uh, users here and highlight all this and copy it. And we're just gonna copy this over. So we have some sort of base to work from here. All right, so that's good. So let's get into uh, how we're gonna do this here. All right, so let's get into this. So we're gonna get rid of this here. We're gonna come in and uh, this users, we're gonna change to uh, is authenticated. Okay, so that's gonna be our component name. Um, and then let's come in and write our uh, GraphQL query here. So let's come in here and say const, uh, and we'll go is underscore logged underscore in and that's gonna be equal to GQL we're gonna go back ticks here and then here we're gonna open up some uh, braces here and we're just gonna go me so we're gonna query the me query and all we want to get back from that is ID and we can go ahead and save that so this is all we're gonna be getting from here and if we check out our mutation here let's just take a look at this um, so let's actually that's gonna be a query so let's go queries so let's check out our queries rather. And you can see that we have a query right here. So this is our me, me query, and that's what we're gonna be hitting. Um, and basically, this is just gonna find uh, the number by our user ID. And uh, so that'll determine if we are uh, authenticated. And we'll show you how we're gonna use that. But first, we gotta make sure we close off these back ticks here. All right, so we want to come down after that, and we're going to uh, add our query here. So that's is uh, underscore logged in. Okay, and then this can all be the same. And then we can get rid of uh, this inside the div here. Actually, we can get rid of the divs too. Um, so let's get rid of that and actually just get rid of this return statement to start with. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come down below, and we're going to add another if statement. So let's go if and we're gonna say there's not any data dot me. So if this returns nothing, data dot me returns nothing, then we're gonna go like this. And we're gonna return uh, redirect, which we're gonna auto import, and this comes from React Router DOM. So redirect, and we wanna redirect, we need to pass it in a two, so where it's gonna redirect. And then we're gonna go give it a path name, good, and we're gonna give it the path name of slash uh, landing, I think is what we had. So go ahead and save that there. And make sure uh, the redirect, we actually close that off there. Okay, so that's good. So if this doesn't happen, so if we do have data, so this is the case when we do not have any data for ourselves. Now we wanna uh, pass in if we do have data. Now how are we gonna do that? We're gonna come down below and we're just gonna return children, which we haven't brought in yet, but we will as a prop. So we're gonna wrap it. So anything inside of this is gonna be the children. So we're gonna come up here, children, pass that in. That's good. Okay. And we're gonna wrap the uh, what we want to restrict. So what you need to be authenticated for. In our case, that's gonna be users. So let's actually change this over here. So let's go slash users that'll be, and that'll give us our users. And we'll just go, we'll keep our landing, I guess, like that. So come over here and we're gonna wrap that. So is, so we'll wrap this. So let's go is authenticated and that'll auto import for us. Okay, and then we're just gonna come down and bring this and wrap the entire thing. Okay, so that looks pretty good. All right, so we're getting a little air right here. Um, with our TypeScript. So let's come in and we're gonna type this. So interface and we'll say uh, props here. 
And then in here, we want to go children and we'll make this optional. And we can add a, uh, a property here called uh, react dot react node, okay? And we could destructure that too if you want, but uh, it doesn't matter to me. Then we come in here and we're gonna add our props. Okay, and that takes care of our error there. However, if we save this and we come over to our app here, we're getting a little problem here. Now the way to fix that is we wanna come in and we actually have to wrap this in a fragment. So let's come over here and we're just gonna wrap it in a React fragment here. And we gotta put these in some curlies here. Okay, now if we go ahead and save that, come back over. All right, now we can see we are not authorized because we have not signed in. Although I don't know if we're actually going to that, so let's go to landing. Okay, we can go to our landing. Then if we come over and we want to go to our login, we're able to do that. However, our protected route is what? Our protected route is slash users. So we shouldn't be able to go to slash users unless we're logged in. So you can see we're not authorized. So now if we come in and we go log in, and we come over here, bump this up for you a little bit. And I think it was Darwin at test.com. Password is password. And we log in. We're redirected to our users. And now if we refresh, we're still logged in. We can go to these uh, this slash users uh, URL. All right, so let's come back here and just go over quickly what we did. Again, so if we're authenticated, whatever routes are within the authenticated uh, component here, whatever the children of it, we will need to be authenticated to visit. And then the other ones, you do not need to be authenticated. And again, just coming down here is authenticated. Uh, if data.me, if nothing comes back for this, we're redirecting to the landing page. And otherwise we are showing the component. So I think that's good for uh, kind of a protected routes for this one. Uh, in the next one, let's actually go back and style uh, some of these uh, login pages and stuff. Actually get this looking not like complete uh, trash. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.